So, what we're going to talk about, if you remember yesterday, we said that side, side, side works. So, if I know a triangle has the same three side lengths as another triangle, then what? Then the two triangles are congruent. So, let's write that. If a triangle has the same three side lengths as another triangle, they are congruent. So everybody agree with that? Yep. Our second one. We have um, side, angle side. So what we're saying here is if I have a side, an angle between, Then another side, so we have the side, then the angle between that and another side. Those three parts of a triangle are congruent with the, those same three parts on another triangle. Then the two triangles are congruent. but only if the same parts are congruent in the same order. Does that make sense? So you can't have two sides and then the angle. You have to actually have two sides that are the same length and the exact same angle between those two sides. Right? Does everybody remember that from yesterday? Good. Our last one. We said side, side, side is a what? Is a pain in the angle side, side. And we don't use that one because this can result in two different triangles. So this is the case where the book said is not, oops, not enough information. So you have to know just a little bit more than just an angle and then the following two sides after that angle. Any questions so far? Just a review from yesterday uh, just to make sure that you wrote them down at least once. So, there are four combinations that are left, or, and apparently I can't write numbers. There are three combinations that are left. So, first of all, we have angle, angle, angle. We have angle, side, angle. And we have angle, angle, side. One of these doesn't work. What I want you to do is on your paper, write down which one you think doesn't work and write down why. To help you, I will draw a couple pictures. So if I have angle, 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 it's going to look like this. Right, I'll just say that this is 60, this is 40. All right, so these are a little bit lopsided, right? And 80, which doesn't really make a lot of sense because the 80 should be the top one, but that's all right. 80, 60, and 40 again. All right, so that's what angle, angle, angle would look like. 
angle side angle would look, I'm going to draw a right triangle here for this one. So I'm going to say this is 90, this is 30, and that this is 5. And again, this is 5, this is 30, this is 90. Then angle, angle side. So, which one of these do you think would not work? Again, on your paper, write it down and write down why you think it wouldn't work. Is the majority right? Is the majority right? <coughs> Let me draw you a counterexample for uh, for angle, 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 and you tell me if it is real or not. All right. So I'm going to say that these are both equilateral. I'm going to say that this is 5 everywhere and that this is 2 everywhere. Are those two real triangles? All right. Could these, let me restate that, could these triangles exist? How much is every angle of an equilateral triangle? 60. 60. So, this is why angle, angle, angle does not work. Because we can see the three angles of these two triangles are congruent. Does everybody agree with that? Just like yesterday when all the sides were congruent, when we made them with our little sticks. Here, if we were to measure all these with a protractor, and you know, did it nicely, and measured them with a protractor, all angles would be 60, yet we can still have two. So angle, angle, angle is not enough information. If you have angle, side, angle, or if you have angle, angle, side, you do have enough information to say that they are congruent. So, these two are congruent. These two are congruent. Okay, there is enough information there to say that. Yes? So how do you know the is? What? How do you know the uh, By angle, side, angle. How do I know? Because those are the other two congruency shortcuts. All right. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. All right. So angle side angle is when you have two angles that are the same. See, so here we both have 30s, and we both we have two 90s, and then the side in between 90 and 30 is five on both of them. That's why we have angle, then a side between and then another angle that are the same. Does that make sense? Here we have angle, angle, side, because I have 30, then 90, and then the 5 comes after that. Same down here. I have 30, and then 90, and then the 5 is the side after the 90. Right? So we go in order, either clockwise or counterclockwise. I did those actually backwards when I moved my cursor. Oh, well. So let's look at a couple like you will see on your homework. First of all, let's look at an hourglass here. Okay. I'm going to say that this is parallel to this and that this is congruent to this. 
are these are these two congruent triangles on top and bottom? Here, I'll go ahead and label it too. V, W, X, Y, and Z is the bottom right. So we'll say X, V, W is congruent to what? Okay, so what do I know? Do I have any angles that I know are congruent? Yes, I do. These are vertical angles. Then there's one more thing. There's one more set of angles. I'm not calling on you because you're acting silly. Yes. Yes. Okay, so Dalton says angle W and angle Y are congruent. Joe, tell me why. Say that louder. Okay, so these are opposite interior angles of two parallel lines. Right? Do you all see the two parallel lines with the transversal going from the bottom left corner to the top right corner? Yeah. So, the other way that we, we also have that this is congruent to this one down here. So you would temp be tempted to say that this is angle, angle, angle. But is that true? All right, it's angle side, angle or, or angle, angle side, whichever way you want to say it. Um, no, it can't be all of them. It can't be one with two sides because you don't know two sides. So here's what we're going to do. Instead, instead of doing it just the way we did yesterday, all right, so let's, let's go ahead and answer it real quick. XVW is congruent to it's XZY. So, but here's what we're going to say because B X, oops, that's not an X. VXW, we're going to say angle VXW is congruent to angle YXZ. Does everybody agree with that? So that's the first angle that I have. Then I'm going to say angle W is congruent to angle why? Does everybody agree with that? Yeah. And VW is congruent to YZ, so they are co congruent. Oops, want to write congruent there. So they are congruent by angle, which is the first thing we wrote, angle, which is the second thing we wrote, side. Now, could, have, could I have written a different reason? Yes, I could have said angles Y, then the side, and then angle Z, and with those, and then I would have had angle side angle, and that would have been a perfectly acceptable reason, but you do actually have to give your reasons today. Yes? Yes, you do. Any other questions? Okay. What? Okay. Now this one's going to be a little weird. So, but you're going to have to get used to looking at triangles like this. So, firstly, draw a triangle that's a pretty decent size.
then what you're going to do, you're going to take, draw a line at a 90 degree angle to this side that goes through that vertex. What's that called? It's not called an angle bisector. What is it? It is an altitude. Very good. So we're going to draw the other altitude on this side. Then I'm going to say that this is congruent to this. All right, so I want to know what is R A Q congruent to? Okay. All right, we want to say C N Q. Okay, that makes the most sense. We have to prove it, though. Okay. So, what are we going to use here? All right. So, what's the first thing that I know? All right. We know that C is, so we know that the angle at R is congruent to the angle at C. Does everybody agree with that? What else do we know? All right. We're going to say that Q right here are the same. Does everybody agree with that? Yeah. Hang on. We'll get there. Okay. So how do we write that angle? We write it R Q A is congruent to... Um, CQN. Does everybody agree with that? Okay, so now we have two angles. Uh, can we just say that the third angle is congruent and be done? Why not? Alright, so we have to be really careful. We can just say the third angle is the same, but for us to have a real congruency, we need to know two congruent sides. Or uh, a pair of sides that are congruent. I want to say it like that. So do we have a pair of congruent sides? Yes, we do. Here's why. Look at this triangle right. Well, let me do that a little differently. Uh, it's a long story. Look at this triangle right here. Did you even notice that triangle? Okay, what do we know about that triangle? It is an isosceles triangle, which means that this right here is congruent to that. Does everybody agree with that? Because it's isosceles. So we have to be really careful to notice all the weird things about the picture. And that's the really difficult thing about, this, about these problems. So that means that AQ is congruent to QN, and that's probably really skinny for the people in the back and they can't read it, right? Um, for length congruencies, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now do I have enough? Okay, what, what reason is it? Okay, so it's again by angle, angle, side. Okay, everybody happy with these so far? All right, now it's time for you to try some on your own.